All right, let's try our hand at a multiple choice question with a uniform distribution. And again, I want us to be on the list for what is the variable in this problem. All right, so the following graph shows the uniform distribution of wait times in minutes for the CAT bus at the bus stop in front of Sykes Hall. Find the area of the shaded region. All right, so we got some CAT bus, Sykes Hall. This must be at a university. All right, find the area of the shaded region. So let's, let's unpack this, right? So if I look, my variable is wait times. I see my units as minutes. All right, so here's my variable. All right, it's time. It's continuous numerical, okay? I've got a uniform distribution. First of all, I can see the rectangle, and second of all, it actually says uniform distribution. But let me go do this, so I'll put the wait times here. And before we can get this, this area, this probability, the first thing we have to figure out is the height. All right, so probability is always going to go along the y-axis, and in a uniform distribution, we actually can figure out how tall this is. So here are always the mechanics for it. Figure out your overall base. All right, so let me put this over here. So for this overall rectangle, right, my base, it's always the range. So I see the highest, or excuse me, the longest wait time was 14 minutes. The shortest wait time was one minute. So my base is 14 minus one, or 13 minutes. Okay, what that means for your height is that your height is always the reciprocal. So this height is one out of 13. If you would prefer to write that as a decimal, we can, no problem. So let me do one divided by 13 and I get about 0.077. All right, so let me write that for those of us who prefer decimals. I'll put 1 13th or 0 0.077. So whatever the base is, right, your height is the reciprocal. So my base here was 13, this is 1 over 13. Because again, for the area, if you were going to think about the area of the overall rectangle, if it was base times height, if our base is 13 and our height here is 1 over 13, that equals 1, which is what the area of your overall rectangle has to be. Right? The, the sample space's probability has to be 1. We saw that in the discrete um, tables where the bottom row had to sum to one. The thing that's analogous over in continuous land is that this total area has to be one. And that's all fine and good, but that's not, that's not the answer to the question asked of us. This is find the area of the shaded region. So I want a probability because area and probability, you can swap those two terms out. And if you don't remember, right, Probability, it's area under a density curve. So when we're talking about continuous random variables, probability and area are the same thing. So in terms of my variable, let me label it, I'll call it x. I want x to go between three and six. Let me move my parentheses over. All right, so anytime you want a probability and you are on a uniform distribution, right? We've got this, that you need to go base times height. All right, so I'm in this uniform distribution column, how to calculate probabilities row. It's always gonna be the formula base times height. So let's put that in here. This is going to be base times height. And I'll just give it a little division there. I'll put a little, little mark so we can see this is the setup of the problem. This is my particular problem. All right, what is the base of this rectangle? So the base of my rectangle for this particular problem, my base is gonna be six minus three, right? High minus low, not the overall range, but the range of the shaded rectangle, which is three. All right, so my base in this problem, or in this particular interval is three. The height is one over 13. And I will calculate that on my, on my calculator. Let's see what we got. We got three times one over 13 we are looking at about 0.231. Now, if you would use the decimal version, if you did three times 0.077, you would, oh, you'd actually get 0.031, or excuse me, 0.231 right on the nose. So you can see there's just a slight round off error if we're rounding that fraction of 1 13th to 0 0.077. All right, but 0 0.231, let's see, oh, that would match answer D. And just 
as a, an extra little tidbit, A and B cannot be the answers, right? Any probability you ever give me has to be a number between zero and one. Because these are negative, I could rule out A and B before I even got going and just limit it. I knew it was either 21%, 23%, or 30%. And looking at this, I mean, I, I could see all of those answers if I was eyeballing it. Maybe this looks like 20%, maybe 30% is a little too high, but I, I, I could at least rule out A and B. All right, so with that, we're gonna try, we're gonna pick up a couple more formulas for the uniform distribution, and we're gonna try uh, a free response question. I'll see you in a few.